welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be doing my March favorites. It's already April. I can't believe it. We're a little bit into April, so I'm a bit late, but let's get started. So I thought I would have uh, break it up into a couple sections. So we'll start off with makeup. So the makeup that I've been loving um, for this month, we'll start off with face. So I've got the Tint Touche Eclat foundation and the color that I have is in B30. I'll just open that up and just show you what it looks like. I'm sure everyone's seen it. It's got the YSL on the bottom. So this is a very light foundation, great for day. Um, I like to wear it most days. It's got an SPF of 19, which is lovely. And yeah, really great foundation. Next is the Ambient Lighting Powder by Hourglass. And the color I have is in Radiant Light. And this is honestly, I can't believe that, I, that they have never come up with a product like this. It is so beautiful, and there it is. I showed it in my last video, so if you want to see swatches and what that looks like, go back to the other video. But this product honestly makes your skin so soft. The feel right now, I'm just feeling in, oh, it's so soft. Such a beautiful powder, just so finely milled. And I wear this during the day and at night. It's not too shimmery, and it's the Radiant Light, so it's one of the more shimmery ones, and I can just pull it off no problem. So loving this. Okay next is the for the eyes and this is the Naked Basics palette and everyone knows what this looks like but I'm just going to share with you what colors that I have been um, loving. So Venus right here the highlight I like to put this right in the highest point of my eyebrow just to lift the eye and Walk of Shame I like to put all over the lid and Naked 2 into the crease for day, and that's it for day. And then I'll do a liner. So I'll do this uh, Crave as a liner, and I've done that today. And to darken it up, I'll use Faint for nighttime. So this is just a really great palette. Um, if in the morning you don't know what eye look you want to go for, I just totally just go straight to this. This is a no-brainer. I just really love using the Naked Basics palette. Next is for cheeks and it's Benefits Coralista and I just love this. I think it's such a great spring color just to brighten up the face. Really been loving this. For lips is the Buxom um, Buxom lip gloss, I guess, and um, it's the color is in Katie, and I've just been really enjoying this layering um, to have it alone or to layer on top of a pink lipstick or a peach lipstick. Um, just really love this. So for skincare, one product that stood out for me all month was my Karen Herzog Essential Mask. Now this. The whole line I love, I use the whole line. Um, I use um, the facial cleanser from there, I use my mask, I have a cream um, and a serum. Anyways, long story short, I will get um, onto that video shortly. But back to this, so the Essential Mask. So it says um, Essential Mask Beauty Booster and that's what I find it is. It is a beauty booster. I feel like my face is so alive after I've put on this mask. Um, I leave it on for about, it says 10 minutes, I leave it on for about 15 to 20 minutes while I'm having my morning coffee or, you know, catching up on some work or whatever it is. And the look of my face, it just looks so even toned, bright. And honestly, after I use this, I can just put on a little bit of concealer under my eyes um, around my nose and honestly with some mascara and be out the door like I just really 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 love this product so this has been another standout for the month so now on to hair care actually one more thing um for body care so I've been loving the bio oil and this I've been putting on my legs my legs have been so dry I live in Canada, it's just inevitable. So this has been really great. And on elbows 
and it just really evens out the skin. I've noticed an, um, an evening skin color all over my legs. So it's really great. Really, really enjoy this. And it also says here for an uneven skin tone. So it's good for stretch marks, scars, uneven skin tone, aging skin, and dehydrated skin. So this has been the lifesaver for me uh, all of March. Okay, now on to hair care. So I have been using a new shampoo and conditioner and it's the Purology line. And this is the Purology Anti-Fade Complex. So I've got the shampoo and I've got the conditioner. And honestly, these are just great. My hair feels so light. Um, just really a great product. They are 100% vegan, they are natural, um, not natural, but they're just really great products. So I really love this. It just leaves my hair silky soft, manageable. Um, yeah, great product. Next, so after I get out of the shower, I towel dry my hair and I use this Tangle Teaser. Now you can pick this up at Sally uh, Beauty Supply in Canada. And it's just really, just a great, great, like I could not imagine going back to my wide tooth comb and trying to untangle my hair after a shower. My hair is very long to begin with, very thick, and this has just been so great. I cannot just, oh, I'm just so happy that I've actually found this and it works for me. So I love that. Okay, last hair product is the Living Proof Prime Style Extender. Now, this is great. This is a primer for your hair. It just makes, first you put it on and it makes brushing out really easy. Also, it makes your hairstyle last longer. Um, it's great, like this is now, believe it or not, these curls I curled yesterday. Yesterday, and we're now on day two at night. Right now it's almost 6.30 here at night. So I've had this style for a long time and I thank this and I, this is just such a great product. Okay, so I've got another um, non-beauty related favorite and it is the Bath and Body Works Market Peach. And this scent, oh my goodness. It's so lovely. I keep this one in my kitchen. I like to have um, more floral fragrance as the one burning behind me right there. That is one from Target and it's called Jasmine, no it's not. It's called Gardenia Lily and that's from Target and that's a really, I love to have um, floral scents in the bedroom but in the kitchen I love to have citrus and fruity scents in the kitchen. And um, during Christmas time, I do like to venture off into the gourmands, but for the most part, it is the fruit and citrus. So this fresh market peach, sorry, not fresh market peach, market peach, is just beautiful. Been loving that. So lastly is a fragrance and it is by Chloe and this is the Rose Edition. This came out a couple of years ago and it's a spin-off on the original Chloe um, fragrance. Very sophisticated, gorgeous. It's got the rose through it. Right away you notice that, the rose. It's just so, so, so beautiful. So beautiful, so feminine, gorgeous scent. Just really, if you're a lady, you would love this. It's just gorgeous. And the packaging, isn't that so lovely? I just love this little pink bow. So cute. Well, that is all for today. I hope you've enjoyed my March favorites. I hope everyone's had a great month. Um, please comment, rate, and subscribe below. And I will talk to you the next time. Take care. Bye.